That's a huge albino rare puma out there. He's about 190 yards out on the walk. And we're gonna have to take a shot here pretty quick because if we don't, he's gonna be in that thick brush and we're probably never gonna see him again. I wanna let you guys know that Chance the Dog did come back at three o'clock the other morning. Here he is right here. He is so happy to be back. We gave him a cookie a little while ago, but we'll give him another one right now just so you guys can see how happy he is to be here. Look how happy he is. Anyways, we're back out here in Parque Fernando and today I want to tell you a little bit of a story of why you should always be careful when you hunt multiplayer. Sometimes it can be awesome and sometimes it can be really awesome except for the fact that you can't quite get that awesomeness. Now if you watched the video from the other day, you'll notice that we took a 400 yard shot and we actually hit a little bit high. We did it a couple of times now, so I want to take a shot here at 400 yards and just see if we can actually get our aim back. Last time I held for the spine and we hit the spine, so we got to hold just a hair lower than the spine. But that should have been pretty good right there. I mean, in all honesty, I feel like that was a pretty good shot, but I honestly think we might have been a hair too low. Sometimes it's like the wobble is real and you got to kind of compensate for the wobble. A lot of people always ask like, how do you shoot so far so accurately without having a wobble? Well, the truth is you just got to time the wobble just right. And when you do that, you can make a pretty awesome shot. Well, either way, that stag should have been somewhere around right here. So we should be able to throw a chance on the track right here. And we got a stag piled up right here, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Chance. And let's pick him up. Well, that was kind of a perfect shot 389 yards and i think we definitely have our shot back guys <laughs> it's an awesome shot chance doesn't like these very much and i think we're probably going to take it out it's only a female but i just wanted to check to make sure there wasn't any nice stags out here so we're gonna have to do something about that there she is out there we'll take her down really quick and that was a pretty good shot yeah she's not going far um, but I want to go over there, pick her up quick, and then swing over to where I saw a massive mythical uh, red deer stag the other day. As we're heading over here, I want to apologize for not having a video up yesterday. I was uh, getting all my stuff set up for turkey hunting here coming up here soon. So I had to charge all my cameras, get all my arrows all set up with broadheads. Oh my god! I think those are axis deer. I had to get a new mount for my GoPro for my bow because when I was wild boar hunting in Florida, it busted and I had to kind of... Uh, Mickey Mouse it together <laughs> with some zip ties and some electrical tape but got some pretty good blood here and this time I think we're just gonna pick up this uh, Puma here if I can see it really quick unless Chance can find it. Chance basically found it. Double lunger at 257 but uh, yeah and then I'm also trying to make a target kind of like a homemade target where I can take a shot with the broadhead so I can see kind of how it performs and how accurate it is on the turkey because a big game, that's one thing, but turkey, the vitals are so, so small that if you miss even like a quarter of an inch, you might not get that bird. Well, there definitely should have been some stags out here, but I think it might have been because of this, why we didn't see any. So we're gonna take down this nice puma out here at about 150. And I'm hoping we, well, we definitely didn't get the heart, but I'm hoping we got something solid because it seemed like we should have. I mean, it's interesting though, how you go from two huge mythical red deer stags to all of a sudden none. And then you think it's a coincidence that we have a big puma out here? I don't think so. I'm thinking that these pumas are being very territorial and kind of keeping away the red deer from this area. Because, yeah, look, there's another one out there, another one out there. Man, they're everywhere. Hold up, hold up. I found the red deer. And that is pretty much what we're looking for right there. 350 yards away. A really, really bad angle. Got quite a few stags out there. And honestly, that might be one of our toughest shots so far. We literally have to try and get between two of those giant boulders right in that little crevice there. And we should be able to get a single lung. So Chance, if you could just calm down for one second here while we take this super far shot. I slide over a little bit more. We're looking at about 415 yards. And that should have been perfect. We should be able to just watch him, actually. And he's down. He's down for the count. 415 yards, and we took him down. One single shot. I believe our Puma is piled up right here, so we're going to pick him up real quick. <laughs> the chance can calm down. Ended up getting a 37.5 gold. Got a right lung shot a little bit high of the heart, but not bad. 250 yard shot right there. 
So our dog keeps barking and I think I might know why. And then I saw another one. We definitely hit it, but that first shot might have been... Give me a follow-up. Give me a follow-up. Um, I should have caught intestine, and if it did, it should take it down. But first off, we're going to go over here and grab this stag. That was a pretty impressive shot. And it's a good thing we took a practice shot on that first stag in the very beginning. But that was probably a 415-yard shot, and it should be a pretty good-sized stag. Well, chances helped me track down both those Pumas. One was a 36 score in gold, and the other one was a female. We ended up getting two intestine shots on it. But uh, actually, chance helped pretty good in finding that second Puma, because I honestly couldn't see it in here, and all of a sudden, he ran right to it. I would say hopefully chance can help find this stag, but even if he doesn't, well, he's kind of piled up right here. And honestly, that is not a bad looking stag. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 185 goal, but we made a 431 yard perfect left lung shot. Actually kind of just pulled a little bit to the right of the heart there, but pretty awesome shot. 431 yards and a 185 gold stay. Look at this. <laughs> we got a Puma sneaking in on him. Apparently now we'll be able to see what was all in that herd. Okay, so there's a level four, level six. Uh, a level six. That's what it was. There was two level sixes in there. Uh, three level sixes. That's the one that we couldn't see. So this next part, I decided to join a multiplayer game and it was really cool. We we're having a fun time. I was hunting on Fiddler's map. We're talking about school and stuff and uh, life. And all of a sudden I saw this really cool, huge albino puma. It was a big level seven and I've only gotten one albino puma before. And it was a female. And I've never even seen anything else besides that until I found that huge level 7 albino last night. And then, well, this happens. That's a huge albino rare puma out there. He's about 190 yards out on the walk. And we're going to have to take the shot here pretty quick because if we don't, he's going to be in that thick brush and we're probably never going to see him again. And that should have been perfect. And I think he just piled over right there. Let's go get him, Chance. Well, we took the shot somewhere around here, and we got some pretty good blood right there. Looks like Chance is definitely on him. He shouldn't have gone too much further. But honestly, it's super thick up in here, so I'm really glad that we have Chance. And there he lays right there. Let's go take a look at this incredible rare albino puma, and the first one that I've ever gotten as far as a big male. Like I said before, I have gotten a female, but never a big male. And this is a pretty incredible moment right here. Let's take some really awesome pictures. We'll have Chance set right next to him, even though he's probably not going to like it too much. It's going to be a pretty incredible picture. I'll tell you what. That looks pretty amazing just like that. And let's pick him up. You got to be kidding me. You absolutely have to be kidding me right now. Oh, no. The one time I joined a multiplayer server and we find a huge albino rare puma and I can't pick him up. Well guys, I tried so many different things to pick that thing up. I even had the host change the time. I uh, ran around a couple different times. I pulled out the camera. I did everything I could possibly think of. It didn't work. So yeah, we got a huge rare albino puma, but unfortunately we were unable to get it mounted and put it in our trophy lodge. So yeah, we still did get one though, so that's kind of cool. But those are the risks of when you play multiplayer. You just never know what your connection is going to be like and if you're going to be able to get that animal. On single player, even if you can't pick it up right away, you can pull out the camera. Pretty much like 98% of the chance, or 98% of the time it's going to work and you'll be able to pick it up. But on multiplayer, you're talking like 5-10% if you're lucky. I just got eyes on a massive black buck coming in here and of course he's going to be the one coming in the back there but I think that's like a guaranteed goal potential black buck. Only thing about this is we don't have any cover. However, we're kind of up on top of this rock here and I'm hoping that he comes close enough for us to take a shot. We do have the hawk edge bow and the 420 grain arrows and broadheads equipped. But there he is right there. He's probably going to come somewhere around maybe like 40 yards out. I don't know if he's going to come any closer than that just because we don't really have that great a cover. But if we slide up here a little bit more, oh, Chance, what the heck? What are you doing, Chance? 
How the heck did you get up here? Oh my god. You just scared the crap out of me, chance. Oh, that was so funny. Okay, yeah, he's definitely getting a little bit eerie of us. He's about 50 yards out right there. We could definitely take the shot. If he turns broadside, we're probably going to let one fly. All we got to do is let that one move. Oh, I can't take that shot. That's not a shot. And there's the big one right there at about 54 out. <gasps> oh, that hurt. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. Turn, turn. Ugh. <sighs> We got him. I held a little bit high, but I think we got him. Ugh. Oh, he's still running. Oh, we didn't get him that good. There you go. You got some blood. You're on him now. There he goes. Oh, he's piled up right here. If I hit this thing in the vertebrae, I'm kind of going to be not too excited about that. Flesh it. 52 yards. 119. Okay, so he wasn't even close to diamond. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. We were like two inches too high of the back lung there. That was almost an awesome shot at 52 yards, but we didn't hit anything. It looks like we like went right through that shoulder blade. <laughs> we tucked it between the shoulder blade and the right lung there and did not hit one single thing. I guess that's what you call the no zone. <laughs> I honestly don't think I've ever hit this before in Call of the Wild. Look at that shot. How is it even possible? Not only that, we were about an inch away from hitting the neck. And about an inch away from hitting the lung. We hit right in the no zone. And <laughs> didn't quite get it. Oh, so close. I saw a monster muley buck out here the other day. And I tried to take him down at 400 yards. But it did not work out. I've wanted to get him for a couple weeks now. And I'm hoping he's still around here. Well, guys. I think we just found our giant muley that I was looking for. There he lays right there, 215 yards away. But we also have a perfect wind, and I think we're gonna try and sneak up on him and take him down with the bow. I just got eyes on a buck right there, and I don't think that's gonna be our big four. I forgot to tell you guys that there's actually another giant buck out here as well. Um, I don't know if this is him or not, but either way, I think what I wanna do is tell Chance to sit here and stay so he doesn't spook this giant buck. We should be about 80 yards out, so we're definitely approaching being in range. Stay there, boy. I can actually hear this buck walking right in front of us. That's how close he is right now. So hopefully Chance stays there and we can find this buck. I think what we might have to do is actually zero in for 20 yards because he's that close to us. At this point, I think we're about to take that three down because hey, at least we have a shot. All right, we'll take down the three. Unless he's behind that tree, which he might be. Either way, we made a perfect shot right there. Let's get back in some brush. We'll tuck in here. And I'm thinking that that giant buck might be right over there. All right, well, let's go over here. We'll pick up this level three, which is a really nice buck. And then we'll try and sneak over this next ridge. And hopefully we can get eyes on that giant level four. So perfect hard shot at 213. He actually didn't quite make gold, but still a really nice buck at 18 yards. And I'm thinking. No! You gotta be kidding me. He was right there. He was right there. Right where I thought he was. He was bedded maybe 50 yards away from us. I don't think we really spooked him that much though. So if we can slide over here and get to this tree, eventually he should come back. We waited a long time for that big buck to come back and he never did. So what I decided to do is do some spot and stalk here. Now that big buck's got to be bedded somewhere over here. We still have a really good wind, so we're definitely going to use that in our advantage. And I'm hoping he should be right up over this next ridge. Oh my god, there he is, there he is, right there. He's 60 yards away, he's 60 yards away right in front of us. Chance, stay there, stay there. Stay there, boy, stay there. 
Don't move. He's perfectly broadside, 60 yards right in front of us. He's right there. I think we're going to zero in for 60 and go for the shot. want to wait till he puts his head down. Here we go. Smoked him. I saw him go over that ridge and I didn't see him come back up. So that means I think we got him. Man, that was one smart, stubborn old buck. Wow. Let's go over here. Come on, Chance. Wow, that was one smart buck. I mean, seriously, if we hit this thing in the vertebrae, I don't know where else we would have hit. But nonetheless, Chance found him down here and he went down in kind of an incredible spot too. That's some really, really good lighting there. Yeah, that's a really, really cool spot, Chance. Good job. Good job finding him. Not such a good job on the shot placement, but I mean, I don't understand how that wasn't just a smoke buck. That vertebrae does it every single time. 63 yards and we hit it in the vertebrae. Luckily, it was on the smaller end. He wasn't the 300 plus, which I kind of had a feeling when I saw this rack. I mean, he's still a giant buck, but man. Even with the wind in our face, we're zeroed in for 66. We should have had a perfect double lung shot, but we got a little bit of raise there and hit the vertebrae. I mean, in all honesty though, if you tell me you took a 65 yard shot and you dropped a huge mule deer and hit him in the spine, I would be so pumped for you. Because in real life, could you imagine taking a 60 yard shot on a 200 plus mule deer and you let the arrow fly and all of a sudden that thing just drops? I'll tell you what, you're gonna be so happy. Someday in Call of the Wild, if they could change the spine shots to where, okay, I get it, don't give us full score, but at least drop the animal in its tracks. For instance, anywhere in the spine, count that as a spinal cord shot, where it's not gonna give you full score, but at least it's gonna drop the animal so you can at least be pumped up for that moment. And even though you don't get the full score, at least you still get a cool moment. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Chan says thank you so much as well. Hope you guys have a really good rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.